Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I wanted to go over how I have been washing my resin prints. So a little while ago I got an Elegoo Mars Pro resin printer, which has been uh, really amazing. I've been modeling uh, uh, little Greeblies and making little figurines and stuff like that. This is one I just made a little while ago uh, for my wife's school. And um, I wanted to review how I have been washing prints. So um, first and foremost, safety, okay? So making sure you've got nitrile gloves, right? So that you're protecting your hands uh, resin's you know dangerous and it can cure in sunlight so make sure you're wearing gloves um, respirator um, you know even if you're in a well ventilated room it's good to have a NIOSH approved respirator for uh, fumes okay so that's just a good safety precaution and glasses when you're washing your prints sometimes if you're using IPA it can splash up into your face so glasses for safety okay so here's what I've been doing just to make the process really quick uh, when my prints finished um, I take a clean paper towel, and these are the paper towels that kind of rip off in skinny sections. Um, I'll take it off and I'll actually wipe the top and I'll wipe along the outer perimeter of the bed, okay? So that removes any of the resin that's just kind of, you know, left over from kind of dripping off, okay? And that way when you, when you loosen the knob and then take the bed and your print off, it's not dripping all over the place, all right? So the first thing I'll do is I'll actually bring it over to um, this just old takeout container uh, that I had. And instead of like going right away and dunking it in IPA, um, which, you know, basically a lot of the resin washes off, okay? And it basically clouds uh, your IPA right away. And so what I've been doing is just, I took a spray bottle, an old spray bottle, and I filled it up with 99% IPA. And I basically spray um, the model and the bed down, okay? So um, I just kind of give it a, a several squirts, okay, with the, the sprayer. And then basically what it does is it drips into this tray, and then I give it a scrub with the toothbrush, and then I do it again, and I just give the bed and a spray, and then I wipe, you know, I sort of wipe the whole bed with, with a piece of paper towel, and um, and then uh, the model has now gotten most of the resin off, okay? And then I actually um, found these great containers at a dollar store. They're Betty Crocker Essentials food container with side clips. So this has got like a locking lid with like a silicone seal around it. And um, I got two of these, they're only three dollars, right? So um, they're great for uh, cleaning prints and I found that if you put the Elegoo um, bed in here, it can go in about halfway and still have about a quarter inch of room all the way around. So you can still slosh it around and push it up and down and dunk it. So the advantage of, of this type of container is that it fits the bed perfectly. Um, it's got tons of room, depending on the height of your print, to be able to rinse it. But I also got this um, cheap uh, magnetic stir off of Amazon, and it was thirty-five dollars Canadian, so it's probably about I don't know twenty-eight dollars or something uh, U.S. But um, basically, what it is is it has, if you look in there, it's got like this little magnetic sort of stir stick thing, and then you can use this control knob over here. You turn it on, and then turn that little spin that thing inside. So if you've seen the AnyCubic wash station. Um, you know, you can cure and wash and the same thing. Well, this is like a budget, you know, version essentially of what that same thing is doing. So you can use that knob to control the speed. So that's about halfway, all right? So it's got a decent, you can see a little bit of a whirlpool going there. And if I turn it on full, just to show you, right? It can get, it can get super fast, okay? So by, you know, using the spray bottle for the sort of first pass of cleaning, the amount of IPA that ends up in this little tray, it's, like maybe like two tablespoons tops of IPA. Um, and then when I put it in here and then sort of doing the second rinse, um, either with the magnet magnetic or just, you know, sloshing it up and down, it cleans like a ton of the resin off. And it you can see the resin's a little bit cloudy now, but I've probably done like 10 prints, you know, like 10 sort of figurine size prints, maybe something a little bit taller and some a little bit smaller, but it's still super usable in there, okay? Um, and it's just a great way to clean it. So it's just, I found this is a really efficient way. I've, um, you know, I normally get these sort of, excuse me, kind of like gallon sized, uh, or sorry, four liter here, uh, containers of uh, IPA um, at a local shop where I get all of my molding and casting stuff and it's 99% um, and it works really well. But obviously I don't wanna go through it so fast. So I find this sort of spray method, um, as long as you, you know, 
keep your area clean and tidy. Um, you know, obviously don't spray out in midair. You want to spray on your bed and the print and just have it drip off. And then when you clean it, you're getting off the vast majority of the resin. You sort of do a second cleaning and then you're good to go. And then of course, um, I've got my curing station in the back there, uh, which opens up and it's got my um, uh, UV light and then that cures the print. So a few minutes in there and then it's done. So anyways, I just hope, I hope that helps you guys. Um, it's just a really efficient way to clean your prints and, um, you know, saves on the use of IPA. All right. Thanks. We'll see you next time.